What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me. My name is Jessica. I'm a mother as well as a makeup lover, of course. Um, I feel like my kids were pretty good today. I don't think I have to edit too much out. They might have got a little shouty in the beginning, but um, I think I don't think we're going to have to worry about that in today's video, hopefully. If you are new here, I am a mother of three boys and they can be very, very loud or like, you know, when I'm sitting here trying to film, obviously I'm trying to entertain them so I can get through uh, my tutorial. So then, you know, you might hear like games and movies and stuff like that So I do apologize for any background noise that you guys hear in my videos But I am a mother and I'm only one person and my kids they, They're they gang they gang around me, you know, there's three of them. So it's like it, I'm only one person, you know what I mean? So um, I do really apologize if that bothers anybody my background noise and anything like that I I really can't help it. I try to edit it out, but I can't always do that um, So yeah uh, all my mamas out there, you guys know what's up. <laughs> so for today's video, I was actually inspired by, if you've ever seen The Princess and the Frog, um, I was actually inspired kind of like by these pictures. So I wanted to do like a Dr. Facilier type um, eyeshadow theme. It was actually a TikTok sound that made me want to uh, do this particular look. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should definitely check that out. I do a lot of fun content over on TikTok. So all of my different social medias, they all kind of have a little something different in them. So if you don't follow me on my other social medias, you definitely should. It's all 381 makeup. That's who, that's me. Um, I am just going to be doing my eyes in today's video. My full face video will be coming soon. I'm waiting for my acne to clear up because I got like these huge zits and I feel like I can't say like wow look how good my makeup looks when you could see ginormous ass zits through my face makeup you know what I mean? So that video will be coming soon once my acne clears up. But I do really like how everything came out, the eyes and the face. It looks so, so pretty. So if you want to see how I created this beautiful, kind of funky eyeshadow look, then you already know what to do. Please just keep on watching. Okay, so for today's look, um, I had a very specific idea in mind, so I'm going to be using a couple of different palettes. So I'm going to be starting off with my P. Louise Worldy palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to start by taking this shade right here, which is called Down Under, which I don't think you could see it too well, but it's kind of like a um, maroony like a dark purpley maroon type color. I'm going to be taking this on a Jessup 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to start just putting this color in like a, I want to keep it in like a round kind of shape. So just like from my, my inner corner and my outer corner. So that's just about where I want it. So next, I'm actually going to take the shade right next to the first one I used. So this is the first shade I used. So next, we're going to go into this purple, which is called First Class. And I'm just going to clean this brush off on like a, just a little seam blanket. I just want to take like the extra product off of it. And then I'm going to go back in with that color on the same brush. Okay, so I'm just going to go right over this shade. Just do little circle motions and very lightly blend this out because I don't want to, I don't want to take this too far because I still got one more color I want to fit in here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, Me, Myself, and Mama Mama Metro palette by uh, Beauty Bay. Specifically, there's two colors that I need out of this palette. So the first color that I'm going to need is the purple, the pastel purple, which is called Miles High. Okay. So I'm going to take this and just go right into little circle motions and really soften this up. Okay, 
I'm gonna take a clean brush and soften these edges. And then I'm gonna go back in with all of my colors again and you know, build them up, make sure I didn't lose any colors. And just make sure everything looks nice and seamless. So I'm going to take some Vaseline and I'm going to go ahead and cut out this crease. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of my P. Louise Basic Brights in the shade Rude Boy Red. So now out of my Beauty Bay and Mitchell palette, I'm gonna take the red, which is called M -m -m Mad. I'm just gonna take it on this tiny brush and set the red line. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the crease one more time with some Vaseline. And then I'm gonna lay down my P. Louise base in, ooh, I just dropped it. Um, I'm gonna relay down my P. Louise base in the shade Rewhite. Um, after I clean this up, because obviously I want a nice white canvas. Okay, so I'm just going to take a white shadow. So the, the specific one I'm going to use is out of the Carnival XL Pro, but you could use whatever white shadow you want, or you could just not even set it. Totally up to you. Okay, so my camera uh, cut off, but I'm taking the shade down under, so the very first shade that I used. And I'm just kind of putting it in the back of this little situation we got going on here. Trying to get it as close to the red as possible. Okay, so now I'm gonna take now I'm gonna take the shade first class, which so I'm gonna take the same three colors that I used up here. So the the <coughs> down under first class and then the lilac and then I'm gonna leave this white. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this line up and I'm going to do another little line of red to connect to this side and then we're going to do some liner, some green liner. So this is the Sheen Epic Liner. This is a UV pastel. This is in the shade Ice Cream. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that and then we come and do the liner detail, which I think is going to be really fun. Now we're going to do the little liner detail detail moment if
Okay, so um, my I finished this eye. My face is done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. And then we could do lashes, lip, final touches. You guys already know. Um, I'm going to take this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. So obviously this is teal, but I'm going to make it green. Oh, and this is in the shade Fresh. So I'm going to take this green shade. And I'm going to set this down. So look at the difference between the green and the teal. So I'm going to go in with the shade Down Under. Same, same shades that I used on top. I'm going to use on bottom. So like for that little portion, you know. So my Louise Worldy, I'm gonna take this shade and then wipe it off and then take the shade First Class, which is the like actual purple, it's more like a burgundy maroon. And I'm just gonna buff that out. And then I'm gonna take a little flat brush, the shade Miles High. Just a little flat brush like this. So I could keep my blend really precise. So um, I feel like for my lips, I'm gonna keep them pretty neutral. Um, but so for these lashes, I'm gonna take these lashes. I got them at my local beauty supply store, but I thought these would look really cute because they're like dramatic and fluffy, but not like overly so. So you'll still be able to kind of see the details. So here is the completed look. I actually think that it looks really good. It doesn't look too crazy, like, um, especially, like, from afar, you know? Like, it, it still looks like it's real, like, nice, natural makeup. But then when you get close, it's like, bam! This bitch is crazy. Anyways, <laughs> um, so my lip combo, in case anybody was wondering, because I, I know a lot of people are always in search for, like, a really good nude. So, um, this right here is the, um, NYX Suede Lip Liner in Sandstorm. And then I went in with the Milani Keep It Full in Soft Rose, just right in the center. So it's real simple combination but still like really cute um so yeah Oof, that highlight mm. so that is going to be it for today's video i hope it wasn't too short i feel like it would be pretty long because this was like a lot of little details um but when i edit i mean i just kind of fast forward everything so hopefully this video wasn't too short or too long um but i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you do like me if you like my videos please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe it helps my channel out a lot and i appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and everybody who comments and likes i appreciate you guys so much and without further ado we're gonna go right on ahead and roll the clip